Welcome to another Gauging Gadgets Garmin InReach Mini tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the weather function on the Garmin InReach Mini. I'll also give you examples of what that looks like. So if you're looking to buy a Garmin InReach Mini, you want to see what the weather looks like, you'll be able to see what it looks like on the InReach Mini and also in the Explorer app on your phone. All right, so before we get started, I want to talk about the cost associated with receiving weather information on the InReach Mini. So depending on the plan you get, it will be considered a text message. So with the subscriptions for the Iridium network, the safety plan is going to be the cheapest. That gives you 10 text messages a month, meaning you could receive the weather 10 times in a month. Now I have the expedition plan, so it will be free for me for the standard weather. Regardless of what plan you have, the premium weather will be a dollar a piece. So I'll show you that as well in this tutorial. Now on the InReach Mini, to view the weather, what we need to do is simply use the left up and down button to scroll through the options here until we get to weather. Once you're on weather, use the OK button to request an update to the forecast. So I'll go in here, select update. And then in here you can select either basic, premium, or marine basic and marine premium. So right now we'll do basic. It's going to transmit that and then get it back from the Iridium network. So I'm gonna go put the inReach outside while that is happening because with the inReach it really doesn't work when it's inside. All right, so it took it about 15 minutes, but I did receive the weather information on there. If I was in a more open area, it would have been quicker, but you do have to keep in mind, it's a two-way communication for the weather. It's not just sending one message. So as you can see, once you get weather on the home screen of the inReach, it'll show you the current weather in your area. But if I go back to the weather widget, you could see the lows for tonight, any chance of precipitation. Now, if I select into that, it allows me to see the next couple days their highs and lows, and then if they're gonna get rain or not. Additionally, I can select into the days and see kind of an hourly forecast of the temperature and rain percentage all the way through. And as you can see, it tells me when the forecast was last updated. All right, so now let's look at weather on the Explorer app. So weather will be located in the more section in the bottom menu, so select more and then go to weather. And you can see it right there at the top. You can request weather either on your phone in the Explorer app or on the InReach Mini, and it will update in both places. And you basically get the same information out of the app as you would on your InReach Mini. One thing to keep in mind with these icons up here is they will show a icon that it's gonna rain even though there's only a 10% chance. So you really have to look into the detail because when you see that icon, it could be a little alarming at first while there's really no chance of rain. In the app to request weather, all you need to do is hit the little refresh button and it will ask you if you want to get the forecast. If you do that, it will go through the same process of contacting the Iridium network and then getting that forecast information. You can also change the location by adding a new location here. So if you're traveling to a new town or area in the future, you can request the weather just to see what you're going to be getting into by hitting the plus symbol. And you can also pinpoint on a map of the location. So if you're doing some backcountry hiking, you know where you're staying the next night, you could put that in and see what the temperature would be there. Now to request premium weather, you saw how to do it on the InReach Mini. All we need to do within the app is select the little toggle switch there and then refresh. And then we'll get the forecast. So now it is telling the InReach to request. And on the InReach, you can see the little arrow pointing up. That means that it is trying to send a message to the Iridium network. So now I'll go set this outside and we can see what the premium forecast looks like. All right, so with the premium weather here, as you can see, it is going to give you a seven day forecast with the highs and the lows. You don't get anything such as radar or even a picture of radar. For the current day, you'll get hourly forecast. Tomorrow, you'll get every two hour forecast. Not really worth it for me to pay the dollar per premium weather request. I will keep that turned off and I'll just go with the standard weather. Viewing premium weather on the Garmin InReach Mini will look exactly the same. It just will have more detail like I've already told you. All right, so that's how you use and view the weather on your Garmin InReach Mini and in the Explorer app on your iPhone or Android phone. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Garmin InReach Mini tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gauging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.